Welcome to Fat and Filter Mukbangs. It's another Fat and Filter recipe. It's your girl, Miss Kitty. And I'm back in the kitchen, y'all. Back to show y'all how to whip up some quick and easy. So let's go ahead and jump into it. A really easy recipe, a chicken tater tot right casserole. Here I have a whole green bell pepper, a whole red bell pepper, and I have some cut up jalapeno, one jalapeno in here as well. Just gonna dump that in. I also have one whole cut up onion. And we're just gonna saute these down, okay, till they get nice and translucent. Alright, so we got these nice and translucent, got them cooked down just right. This is exactly how you want them, okay? Because your casserole isn't gonna stay in the oven that long to get these tender so you already want them tender not mushy but tender hey hey <laughs> you want them tender <laughs> all right let's get into it baby love right here i have let's see this one two three four five i have seven chicken breasts that i have boiled and I put that little video, you'll see it right here. I boiled the chicken breast for about 30, 35, 45 minutes. They're not really huge chicken breasts. And so what you see me doing right here, guys, I'm breaking them down. Breaking it down. Y'all, I'm so happy to be back in the kitchen. We're gonna dump our chicken in there. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of chicken. I have a can of cream of potato. I'll dump that all in there. And green chilies. I have a can of cream of chicken. And a can of whole corn of corn that I have drained. So at this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and add the seasonings. I have two tablespoons of onion powder, a tablespoon and a half of black pepper, a teaspoon and a half of lemon pepper, a tablespoon and a half of Tony Satras, a teaspoon of chicken bouillon, and a teaspoon and a half of salt. Y'all see, I really do improvise. <laughs> I feel like it's not juicy enough, but I don't want to add any more cans of soup. So I added some heavy whipping cream, and I'm going to say that's about one-fourth of a cup until I get the desired juiciness that I want. And you know chicken breasts, y'all. You know how chicken breasts are, so... I would say, you know, if you still want to bake your chicken, maybe try some chicken thighs. Now I'm going to add in about a cup of mixed cheese. And I'm going to add in our sauteed vegetables. Now we're gonna top it off with some shredded mal, some shredded mal cheddar cheese. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Now for the main ingredients, we got tater tots. All right, we're just gonna layer these on top of here. Like we have OCD, I 
feel like this is just going to take forever. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What's y'all favorite french fries? Let me know in the comments below. I've never been a fan of tater tots. And as you put these on top, press it down. Okay? Isn't she lovely? Hey, hey, isn't she wonderful? Yes, come on, come together. So now we have all our tater tots on top. I always dash a little onion powder or a little salt on my fries anyway. So I'm gonna do that over the tater tots. We're gonna put the rest of the shredded mild, <laughs> the shredded mild cheddar cheese. Just sprinkle that. Put the cheese on top and then we're gonna finish it with some parsley to make it pretty. Now we're gonna pop this bad boy in the oven on 350 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes. Be bad. 